there is a wildness within you, a primal and fearsome aspect of your humanness that is ancient. The part of your being that stems from what we were before we evolved into humans, primitive and reptilian, it functions purely on instinct. And when it senses threat, the wildness is unleashed. This part of you protects you, inspires you to fight or take flight, to freeze or to appease, whatever it takes to keep you safe. This wild creature that exists in the amygdala region of your brain lives only to serve the survival of your body. It is benevolent and yet terrifying. A dark and threatening entity that patrols your psyche, sometimes attacking aspects of you in its instinctual fervour. And whilst it is always there, we tend to be unaware of its presence, unless it is provoked by the situations and circumstances we encounter during the day. However, at night, it comes out to guard us, and should we begin to wake or become aware of its proximity, it can be a truly nasty experience traumatizing and harrowing when you sense the power of it, especially when you are in the grips of paroxysm or a terrible nightmare. For some, the beast may appear as dark shapes in the room, monsters or even dark humanoid beings that mean to cause harm. In this sleep story, we shall travel to one of the darkest places in the realms, the Thicket Hollow Labyrinth, where you will learn how to communicate with the wild animal inside of you, the beast from which you came. And you will discover how you can befriend them and harness their exquisitely beautiful and terrifying power. Those We Fear in the Night, an ASMR sleep story and Celtic Reiki orientation to befriend your shadow beings. Welcome to Dark Tales of Thicket Hollow by Martin Pentecost, originator of Celtic Reiki. In the heart of Romanos, an ancient town far in the distance from here and yet but a moment away. Within the protective walls of an old tenement, you seek refuge from the driving winds that fill the night outside. The aged building shields you from the elements, creating a haven where you feel safe and warm. The sounds of the tempestuous night are muffled, allowing a sense of tranquillity to settle within the room. Sitting by the crackling fire, you find comfort in its flickering glow. The flames cast dancing shadows on the walls, creating a mesmerizing display that captivates your mind and your senses. Hypnotised by the dance of the capricious flames, your eyes become heavy and you shift your body to lay in the most soothing position, feeling safe and comforted. As you begin to drift into a restful slumber, a subtle shift occurs before you. A portal opens, inviting you to embark on a journey beyond the confines of the old tenement. And the Celtic Reiki orientation begins. Step 
stepping through the luminous gateway, you find yourself in Thicket Hollow, a place within the realms, cloaked in mysterious half-light. The air is filled with a soft ambient glow, casting a surreal quality over the landscape in aspect and form. Shadows dance and weave within the thicket, creating an enchanting play of darkness and light. Much is whispered about the labyrinth of Thicket Hollow, its never-ending paths and trails that have caused so many to become forever lost in its hidden corners. They say, even if you are fortunate enough to escape the maze, you can never really be sure if you are free from the labyrinth's grip. For many who thought they had found their path to emancipation were just in another perspective of the labyrinth, still trapped and alone. Dare you navigate this maze with me tonight, this twisting, turning tangle of pathways that will lead us to somewhere primal, somewhere ancient. As you take your first tentative steps in the labyrinth of Thicket Hollow, you notice shadows taking on peculiar shapes, momentarily resembling figures that flicker at the edges of your perception. These shadows, fleeting echoes of what awaits you in the heart of the labyrinth. The half-light serves as a protective veil, revealing only glimpses of the mysteries that reside within the thicket. As you travel further and further onwards, you begin to sense a presence, powerful and wild. Yet in this moment, it is sedate, aware of your presence, but resting in a soft slumber of its own. So you keep travelling, knowing that should the creature within awaken, you only need breathe, slowly, surely, regularly, and the wild one will remain calm and quietly mindful of you. For your breath is the way that you communicate with the wild one within.
In the heart of Thicket Hollow, you discover a serene clearing bathed in a gentle glow. A sense of calm washes over you as you take in the beauty of the surroundings. Tall trees stand like silent sentinels, and the play of shadows on the forest floor creates a mesmerizing tapestry. As you linger in this tranquil haven, the shadows lose their ominous edge, becoming integral parts of the enchanting landscape. These seem no longer to provoke fear within you, but rather a sense of vibrant wonder. You feel the wildness of nature in this place, and it is exhilarating. The half-light becomes a source of comfort, a soft blanket in which to wrap yourself. The air is filled with a gentle glow, creating an otherworldly ambience that both intrigues and unsettles. A dark entity lurks here, their presence felt rather than seen. But is this being truly malevolent, or simply a powerful aspect of yourself, fragments left behind as you sought to conform with the expectations of the world? As you tread carefully around the heart of the thicket hollow, consider the possibility that the shadow is not an adversary to be feared or traumatized by, but instead ancient parts of your own essence, waiting to be acknowledged and integrated. What if, instead of fearing this wild one, you approach them with curiosity and compassion? The shadow coalesces into a tangible form Shapes emerge, reminiscent of pieces of a jigsaw puzzle scattered over time. Here in the soft half-light, you see the wild one within yourself form into a tangible shape. Maybe a wolf, a bear, or some other wild animal. Maybe a mythical creature, or even monstrous in form. Or maybe they take human form. Whatever they choose and however they appear, there is no need to be afraid. Just keep breathing in a calm and sustained rhythm. As you gaze upon the wild one within, a sense of recognition dawns. What if this creature from which you have evolved is protecting the aspects of you you have forgotten, cast aside, dismissed, or even hated about yourself? What if life, other people, society, or even you have fragmented and broken these aspects of yourself, leaving them feeling unloved and integrally broken as they were cast out and left upon the path? What if this is why the creature has seemed so frightening in the past? because it is defending those aspects of yourself, the parts you did not. And what if embracing the wild, unbridled parts of your being could lead to a more whole and authentic existence? With courage in your heart, you reach out to the beast and give it a name. By offering your wild perspective this name, you are acknowledging their presence and purpose whilst understanding their origin. You begin the process of healing, allowing the fractured pieces the wild self has been guarding over to come together, forming a mosaic of your true self. The shadows, once perceived as threats, begin to transform into integrated aspects of your whole being. The powerful facets of your identity that add depth and riches to your essence. 
and as this holistic oneness solidifies within, you begin to repeat your promise to cherish your whole being, to act with kindness and compassion to every fiber of you. No matter how frightening those lost or wild parts are, you will simply breathe and repeat your promise as a mantra to remind yourself of how your oneness, your wholeness, is powerful and effectual in the world. As you stand transformed in the heart of Thicket Hollow, bathed in a new found light, the once intimidating shadows now serve as guides on your journey of self-discovery. As you drift into a restful sleep, the lessons of Thicket Hollow echo in your dreams, encouraging you to embrace the wholeness of who you truly are, and the wild self takes you upon many beautiful, exciting, and primal adventures where you unleash the spirit within, the spirit that cannot be tamed by the world or domesticated by life. Sleep well.